Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last video, we discussed about uh, how to create chart of account structure instance, creating of segment values, calendar, and so on. So as pretty much most of the prerequisites which are required for the primary ledger are covered in our last videos. So in today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a primary ledger. Now let's get into the details. So, so today I'll be covering about how to create a primary ledger as well as specify the ledger option. So this is the task. And uh, as mentioned in my previous videos that uh, this would be the enterprise structure. So under this particular enterprise structure, I have three ledgers, Reliance INR ledger, Used ledger, and Reliance Canadian ledger. So probably from a video perspective, I'll be focusing on one of these ledgers, which is Reliance UST ledger. So today, let me start with creating of the Reliance UST ledger. And in my next videos, I'll be focusing on creating of the legal address and legal entities under this particular ledger. So now let's get into creation of the Reliance UST ledger. So, so the task would be manage primary ledgers. So that's the task. So let's get into Fusion. So click under your name, go for setup and maintenance, and then you can go for the global search. Manage primary ledgers. Click on this. And this being a testing environment, there are a lot of ledgers which are created by different people. So let me click on plus icon to create a new ledger. So I want to call my ledger as Reliance USD ledger. Reliance USD ledger. And I want to use the chart of accounts as Reliance chart of accounts. This, yeah, this is. So the drop down shows the your chart of account structure instance. So Reliance structure instance. And the calendar, the calendar which we have created in our last video, Reliance calendar, and the currency would be USD. And accounting method, I want to use the standard accrual, which is oracle provided uh, standard accrual subledger accounting method. So save and close. So that's about creating of the ledger. Now the another important thing is specify ledger options. So what are all the different options under this ledger? Only once you complete all these uh, ledger options, uh, then we can start using the particular ledger. So the important thing is, as far as the specified ledger options is concerned, we should not be using the global search because there are certain tasks which require a scope to be specified. So for those things, you should search under the corresponding offering or functional area. So under uh, let me go to yeah. under uh, finance, I'm searching for specify ledger options. And uh, whenever you search for your specify ledger options, you need to specify the scope. The scope is the ledger. So let me select the ledger name. I want to select my ledger, which is Reliance, select this and click on save and close. So that will take you to this particular screen. So now we are specifying ledger options in the Reliance UST ledger. Okay, so this is my first open period number of future enterable periods. I just want to keep it as one sub. So these are the uh, four uh, things here chart of accounts, structure instance, currency. And uh, sub ledger accounting method we have specified. These are the things which you have specified when creating the ledger. Now we need to continue with specifying, specifying of all these options. So general language would be uh, American English. Let's search for English. It should be US. Yeah, American English. And then retained earnings account, specify your retained earnings account. So there are two company code 004003. I can use one of these. So let me use 003.
కాల్ సెంటర్ జీరో 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 ఇస్ ఆర్ రిటైన్ ఎర్నింగ్స్ అకౌంట్ సో లెట్ మీ సర్చ్ ఫర్ రిటైన్ ఎర్నింగ్స్ అకౌంట్ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ఇస్ రిటైన్ రిటైన్ ఎర్నింగ్స్ అకౌంట్ and then inter company segment would be 00 i do not want any inter company segment value to be used here so hence i am just using 000 <coughs> that's the retained earnings account so this retained earnings account is uh, used uh, especially at the end of the financial year whenever you are closing the last payroll system takes the net of your expenses and revenue and that net amount would be pushed to your retained earnings account so that's the significance of retail earnings account and even though as we are mentioning only one company code which is 003 system will properly take care of uh, pushing the revenue and the, the net of revenue and expenses under corresponding company code so there will be behind the scenes there will be one uh, retail earnings account under 003 and also another retail earnings account under 004 and cumulative translation adjustment account. So this is account which is used by the system during your translation process. So let me search for the cumulative translation adjustment account. Cumulative. Yeah, cumulative translation adjustment account. Okay, again, yes. period and rate type, period average rate type are also used by the system during translation process. As for as period uh, end rate type, I just want to use spot exchange rate and period average rate type. I want to use period average. And uh, you can check this checkbox, prevent general ledger period closure when open sub ledger periods accept. So that means if the sub, uh, sub ledger periods are not closed, whether you want system to stop closing a uh, general ledger period. Yeah, if you want, you can check the checkbox or this piece, if this being a testing environment, I do not want to check this checkbox. And uh, whether you want to enable the suspense account at uh, general ledger level, that is, uh, for the journals which are entered in GN or at a sub accounting level, I do not want to enable. If I enable, then enter the corresponding suspense account. Rounding account, again, whenever the system is doing a, a foreign, for, forex uh, transaction uh, conversion, if there is any rounding differences, then systems will use this particular account. And uh, I'm not focusing on the other accounts. If you want to use the general approval, so check the checkbox. Notify when pre year period generally is entered. So now we are in January. So let's assume if I try to enter, say, journal since a December period, uh, then a kind of a pop up message uh, appears on the screen. So that uh, user is aware that he is trying to enter journals in the pre year period. Allow mixed statistical and monitor journals. If in a same journal, if you want to enter both stat journal, which is used in allocations and uh, the in your monitor general which is the actual general then check the checkbox if you do not check the checkbox then uh, you cannot enter mixed journals uh, limit journal to single currency if you want to enter a journal with multiple currency check the checkbox otherwise leave it separate journals by uh, this is uh, separate journals by accounting date during the uh, journal import if you want to do that check the checkbox otherwise leave it blank Enable, I will definitely use this. Enable intercompany accounting and a general reversal criteria. What is the de default reversal criteria? If you have something, you can use that. Otherwise, leave it plan. Run auto reverse after opening of the period. As soon as the period is open, if you want to run the auto reverse process so that based on the categories which are enabled for uh, reversals in the auto reversal criteria set system will. Uh, reverse those channels. So basically your accrual entries would be reversed in the next period. And uh, as far as the sequencing is concerned, uh, if you want to use a specific uh, sequencing, just say this 
and if you say sequencing by ledger then system will allow you to uh, select whether you want to uh, enable the sequencing at, uh, at tables and receivables level or only at one of these modules and if you say legal entity then again within the legal entity you can uh, say see if you see here ledger only these two are enabled and if you say legal entity all the four are enabled so again uh, the accounting and document sequencing is at uh, legal entity level then as far as the document sequence is concerned whether you want to enable it for only for payables or for both payables and receivables and enforce chrono chronological order and document accounting date so based on the accounting date your uh, sequences would be generated and maybe probably i'll go with no sequencing Let me do save and close. The value of the attribute cumulative translation adjustment account isn't valid. So it looks like translation adjustment account is not correct. I don't know why it's not correct. Cumulative translation adjustment account. Mm. Yeah, that's a cumulative translation adjustment account. Let me see if there is any other account. Again, this being a testing environment, probably I don't know if somebody has disabled this account. This looks good. Search for this combination. Yes, combination also looks good. Okay. Yeah, it's saved and save and close. I don't know why through that error message, but uh, looks like uh, it's kind of a temporary glitch. But but anyways, there is no issue with that uh, cumulative translation adjustment account. So this is how you create your ledger and uh, specify your ledger options. So probably in our next video, I'll talk about how to create a location and then. Uh, create a legal entity when you are creating a legal entity location is uh, required so first create a location and then create a legal entity and then assign this legal entities to the uh, ledger and then assign the balances segment values to the legal entities so, th so th those are all the things which we will see in our next video thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you